joint stock company, Tupolev has established an innovative design center to modernize the TU-214, as we previously reported last month. The inaugural meeting of participants was conducted at the Moscow site of Tupolev on October 14th as part of the Innovative Design Center's inauguration. Konstantin Timofev, the managing director of Tupolev and the first deputy general director of UAC, served as its leader. The Innovative Design Center initiative is being established to address distinctive challenges associated with the modernization of the medium-range passenger airliner TU-214. The project is open to talented and creative specialists who are prepared to suggest innovative ideas and advancements in the aviation sector. To date, over 300 resumes have been received, including team applications, and additional submissions are being received. The initial six candidates were chosen, and Konstantin Timofev personally conducted their interviews. Recruitment for the Innovative Design Center is currently underway. The managing director of JSC Tupolev acknowledged the TU-2114 aircraft's potential for further development and its advantages during the meeting's opening. The advantages are a very good wing, certified engines, a high-quality fuselage, and horizontal stabilizer. In terms of flight and technical characteristics, it is almost a perfect aircraft, but we will continue working to improve it. The task in the near future is to reduce its weight. We do not plan to change the format. It will have the same length, width, height, and passenger capacity, but we will work on weight optimization, said Konstantin Timofev. He stated that the current TU-214 modernization program encompasses a variety of projects, including the digitization of documentation, the reduction of airframe weight, the transition to new composite materials, the modernization of the aircraft's systems and interior, and others. In order to expedite the implementation of the modernization program, we are establishing the Innovative Design Center, which will assist in the resolution of these tasks from the initial concept to the final execution, emphasized Konstantin Timofev. Participants in the Innovative Design Center will establish teams that will consist of a minimum of two designers, a technologist, and an economist. At present, the initial four teams have been designated in the following areas, airframe, systems, after-sales service, and power plant. The inventive group is welcome to participate. The number of teams will be increased as required. Each team will be assigned a curator who is responsible for the coordination of the group's activities throughout all phases of the project, such as task assignment, solution development, project defense, and production implementation. Despite the rapid pace of establishing a design center and the decision to continue production of TU-214 in 2023, there are also drawbacks. The time frame for these enhancements is not specified at the moment. We stated in one of our videos that the deliveries must commence by the end of the year. However, the process of modernizing outdated aircraft designs to accommodate modern demands usually requires an extended period of time. The prospective lengthy process of developing and implementing these innovations may not be in keeping with the urgency of Russia's current need for planes. Timofev, the executive manager who is not a designer, has assigned responsibilities to reduce weight and modify dimensions. This is essentially a 10-year endeavor to design a new aircraft. Are these assignments structured in a manner that guarantees the aircraft will not be operational in the near future? What became of the top designers and architects who were previously employed? Additionally, the most recent enhancements will necessitate extended lead times for the development of new materials, processes, suppliers, development, testing, and ultimately, mass production. Now, do you think modernizing TU-214 will take years and the initiative is too late? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.